Good evening and welcome to this service of night prayer. You can download the words of the service from the Christchurch website. My name is David Cansdale and I'm a lay reader at Christchurch. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let's just be quiet for a moment as we look back over the day. And we now say this confession together. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have wandered and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But you, O Lord, have mercy on us sinners. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O merciful Father, for his sake, that we may live a disciplined, righteous and godly life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Now we can receive God's forgiveness. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to read Psalm 134 now. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth, give you blessing out of Zion. This evening's Bible passage continues our readings in Mark's Gospel. And in these verses, we find Jesus teaching. He was drawing large crowds, but his family really didn't understand what he was doing, and they wanted him to stop and to return home. We're reading from Mark chapter 3, reading from verse 31. Jesus' mother and brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. And a crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers are outside, seeking you. And he answered them, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking about at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. This is the word of the Lord. Well, when we read that Jesus cold-shouldered his family, it sounds very shocking. But he seems he was putting his obedience to God, his father, above his relationship with his human family at that time, because they misunderstood and tried to obstruct his ministry. Jesus took the opportunity to emphasise the new relationships available to his followers. Just to read that, whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. And it's that new relationship with God that each of us is called into. As we follow the God who has called us to love and obey him, so we become his sons and his daughters. One of our great treasures at Christchurch is the inscription written over the chancel arch. It's a verse from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. As followers of Jesus, we are adopted into his family. We become his heirs as his sons and his daughters. There's an expression that is, that is used these days to describe children who receive care from social, social services. They're known as looked after children. And that's exactly what we become 
when we are part of God's family, loved and looked after by him in whatever our situation may be. It's part of our human nature to want to manage by ourselves, isn't it? To say, oh, thank you for your offer to help, but I can manage. One of the things that many of us are having to learn just now, in these days of self-isolation, is to accept offers from friends and family and neighbours. They're pleased to help us, and although it may against, go against the grain for us, we do need to accept being more looked after than we might choose, in order to protect others in this case. But in the same way, let's always remember that God wants each of us not to go it alone in our Christian lives, but to be always quick to turn to him and to be willing to be one of his looked after children. We continue with these biddings and responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Now we come to say the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon, and we say this together. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. We come to a period of silence when we can give thanksgiving and bring intercessions to God in prayer. We may like to continue in prayer after the service, but bringing our prayers together for now, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And now may the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly to us and give us his peace. Amen. <laughs>